Hi, this is International Master David Proust for Chess.com, here to bring you an advanced module on development. Uh, so this is a video mainly for people who've already watched my previous videos on development. Uh, if you're a strong player, you can probably handle this video without seeing the previous ones, but um, but in general, I would really recommend watching the other ones first. Um, today's topic is simplification, and this is another uh, way that white can try and use, sorry, not just white, <laughs> I always assume white's ahead in development. This is another way that somebody who's ahead in development can try and use that advantage and um, get something out of it. Okay, so we've seen so far a lot of attacking and um, using of weaknesses. But anyway, simplification is another important way to try and use a development lead to get the upper hand. So some of you may be aware of a strategy when attacking where you have, let's say, four pieces attacking in some area and your opponent has two pieces defending. And we we count up the attackers and defenders and say, four against two, okay, that's pretty promising. I'll try this attack. And then when you start attacking, you use a technique where you trade off the two defending pieces. Because when you will then be attacking two against zero, the advantage of your two pieces will be more obvious two on zero than four on two. It's also the same reason why we trade pieces when we're ahead in material, right? Because uh, if you have one extra pawn on a board cluttered with pieces, its impact isn't felt as much as if you reduce the material on the board so that that pawn is a bigger percentage of, of what's actually on the board. So the same thing, generally speaking, can be true when you have a development lead. You may have uh, five pieces that are well-placed and participating in the game, and your opponent may have three. And your pieces are more active, and there are various things you can do. Often, though, you'll find that if you traded a couple of their developed pieces, your advantage would clarify and become more obvious because you'll be left... Well, I'm assuming that you're not trading their undeveloped pieces. So you, develop, you trade their pieces that are already developed. You will be left with a couple developed pieces and your opponent with none at some point. And then the difference in power between those pieces will become more clear. We hope you enjoyed this video demo from chess.com. Subscribe today to finish this video and get unlimited access to our full video library. Your membership also includes access to Chess Mentor, the most advanced interactive training tool available anywhere. You'll also get full access to the Opening Explorer, Tactics Trainer, and much, much more. So sign up today and get serious about improving your game.